Hi, fan fans. I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and we're going to take a look at the Sama YF1203i. It's an infinity fan. Ooh. I know some of you guys are crazy about uh, the infinity, fan, infinity fans. The first infinity fan I saw that I liked was the Gelid Stella Infinity, and I was like, oh. and I don't really care about LEDs, but it was just so pretty in the picture. Now, in reality, it wasn't as impressive, but, you know, that's okay. Um, I still... You know, got it for my inventory. And now we're looking at Sama, a company that I have been bashing for over a year now because they put out crappy products and charge too much. I saw this fan. It's supposed to be a performance fan, but we'll fan, but we'll see. Uh the last one was really disappointing, so I'm hoping this one is not going to disappoint as well. This is what it looks like. And of course it has infinity mirrors there and there and stripes there and there. And it is a one-sided fan. It has no special decorations except little, little blips on the sides there. Um, and it has an infinity fan in the middle. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like with the lights plugged in. Because I know that's why you guys come here. You want to see pretty lights. Because, I don't know, maybe you're high or something. I can't tell. Can't see ya. But if you're high, please stop. Just say hello. You don't have to say hi. Ha, ha, ha. So funny. Not funny. All right, that's what it looks like. Not surprising. It looks basically the same as the other two, except for different configuration of the decorations. I think this is the least attractive of the three, except for the fact that you can't see exactly where the LEDs are on this one as opposed to the 1202i that I reviewed just before this one. Well, there we go. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and spin it up so you can see it in action, so to speak. And yes, I know, I'm going to have to do another video comparing um, infinity fans or LED fans, whatever you want to call it. I know you're hankering for more. They seem to be fairly popular. If you have any special requests, let me know. If it's reasonable and attainable by me, I will certainly do it. All right, so this is what you're going to get. Not bad, right? Looks kind of nice. Not as nice on that side, but oh well. Oh well. Let's go. Ooh, darn those cables. They're always trying to get inside of the fan blades and ruin them. Well, let's um, listen to this fan and see, or hear, if it's uh, quiet or not. Hopefully it's better than the last one, which had a crappy bearing. Here. Why is this? Okay. Oh, that's right. I forgot to unplug this. All right, here we go. No, another crappy bearing. Ticking is really loud. Come on, Sama. Stop cheaping out when you're charging so much money for these damn fans. It's disgusting. I'm hearing harmonic resonances. There's another one. Another one. Again. Again. Not too noisy, and that's a bad sign, because that means it doesn't have the static pressure they claimed just like the last one. Yep. It's about one millimeter of static pressure, which means this is good for cases and for air cooler coolers, not coolers, and cooler, whatever I was trying to say. Um, but it's not good for a water cooler. Yeah. So uh, eh, they tricked me. 
I was so excited to see Salma putting out performance fans that could do two millimeters of static pressure, and it can't. Neither can the last one. <sighs> and it's a noisy, cheap bearing with, yeah. So I'm I'm really disappointed. I'm going to keep on ragging on uh, Salma until they get their act together, stop overcharging, and providing crap fans. Yeah, that's you, Salma. Crap fans. All right. Let, um, I need to ask for your help. Would you please like, subscribe, share, and comment on my videos? Even a brief comment will help. Um, I need your help in order to build this channel up so that I can actually someday hopefully rely on it for as a source of income and also so that it allows me to continue to provide you information on other products because at this rate, it's going to be uh, after my death. And that means no more videos because my children aren't particularly interested in carrying this on at all. My daughter wants to be a vet. My son thinks he wants to be an author. He never writes. Anyways, but I love him. I love my kids. I love him. So if you can please do that. If you want to financially help me because in December on the 13th, I will be having my left shoulder replaced. Um, and I'll be out of work for three to four months. If you'd like to help me financially, you can donate by joining as a member on my channel, Glenn's Fast Reviews, or you can go to patreon.com slash Glenn, M-I-I, and become a member there. There are some perks. Um, or if you would like that money to go toward me building an AMD computer during the Black Friday sale, that would be super duper also. Um, it's going to be, I'm, I'm going to need a fair amount of money. Definitely no less than $1,000, although I do have a case already, um, so I don't have to worry about that. But um, And a, a monitor, I have a monitor. It's kind of a not great monitor, but it's what I've got. So I'm going to focus on the other stuff. I've got fans. Um, I'm going to need the, uh, well, you know what I need. Anyways, um, thank you for your support. Let's go look at the specs. Okay, the Sama or Guangzhou AOG, AOG Technology Company Limited, and this is the YF1203i in which is Infinity, I believe, and it's a thirteen dollar and eighty seven cent fan. It was on sale, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it, uh, and that's too much money, anyways, for the quality that they're providing. Uh, compliant with CE and ROHS, made in China, one hundred twenty by one hundred twenty three by twenty five point eight millimeters. 25,000 hours of life, ARGB with uh, um, compatibility with ASRock, ASUS, Gigabyte, and MSI, 170 grams, nine blades, 105 millimeters between the mounting holes, 600 to 1600 RPMs, plus or minus 10%, 61.5 CFMs of airflow, and I'm calling BS on the two millimeters of static pressure, and six to 30, decibels no that's it's not that high uh, 45 centimeter fan cable that is daisy chainable but not sleeved 52 centimeter long LED cable that is daisy chainable but not sleeved PWM and standard ARGB connectors I don't know why I put the wrong thing in there hydraulic bearings 12 volts 3 watts 0.25 amps and 5 volts uh, sorry yeah, five volts for the LEDs. No indicators of direction of rotation of flow and, uh, and flow, but it turns in a clockwise direction, comes with four fan bolts and corner cushions. I'm sorry to do this, but I need to ask for your help. Um, because Amazon and Sedgwick won't take responsibility for the injury I sustained at work um, that is going to cause me to have to have my shoulder replaced on November 29th of 2024. I'm going to be off of work for three to four months and um, the pay that I'll be getting from Amazon during that time because Sedgwick will not pay me anything will be um, after taxes and benefits probably somewhere in the area of 10 maybe $12 something like that per hour of a, a 40 hour week. <clears throat> and so that's going to be very financially troublesome for me um, to, to put it mildly I mean just my uh, rent alone is like eleven hundred fifty dollars and then there are all the other expenses um, I do have some help but I do appreciate it if anybody uh, is willing to help you can join my uh, channel 
Glenn's Fast Reviews, or you can go to patreon.com slash glennmii and become a member there. If you can't uh, safely do that, please don't, though. I don't want anybody financially getting into trouble with trying to help me. That would just kind of that would make me feel really, really um, bad, um, as if somehow I was responsible for the choice you made, um, even though it was your choice. So if, if if you can't, that's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a great day. <laughs>